After 250,000 years of sleeping, this zombie volcano, how they call him now, that should be dead, is alive. What is happening, guys? It's not magma that is waking Bolivia's zombie volcano, but it's something even more unexpected that could blow this thing up. And new findings reveal hidden dangers that could affect not only this one, but volcanoes worldwide. Hi, volcano lovers. This is a very interesting video and it's a shocking video because what is going on with this monstrosity of a volcano will really surprise you. This volcano is Bolivia's superheated secret. This zombie volcano awakens after 250,000 years deep in the Bolivian Andes. Something is stirring it up beneath the surface. This is a volcano that was long believed to be extinct and now it's waking up. After 250 years of silence, the ground is shifting, pressure is building and guys, the rules of volcanology are being rewritten. This is not a drill. This is Uturunku. This is the name of this volcano. This is a tongue breaker. Again, let's call it the zombie volcano. And what scientists have found underneath, I'll say it one more time again, Uturunku is a game changer, guys. It's mind blowing. So stay with me through the full video. You will not regret it. So at first glance, Utu Runku looks calm. It's a very large volcano. It towers 600 meters into the sky, six kilometers. It sits quietly in the Altiplano, far from the world's headlines, but appearances can deceive, especially with volcanoes. And we know that because beneath its surface, something massive, massive, massive is brewing. In 2010, satellites first detected a very strange bulge that was forming underneath the volcano. So not just a little wobble, guys. This was like one to two centimeters land rise per year, a uplift across an area 70 kilometers wide. That's huge. That's almost as 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 big as the Campi Flegri caldera area that spans 100 kilometers. So a massive dome-shaped rise underneath this volcano and it has been growing for two decades straight. So that kind of uplift, usually we know, oh, if a volcano shows this, we know magma is accumulating underneath the volcano preparing potentially for the next eruption, but at least something's accum it's accumulating. It's, it always means magma and not just a little magma. If it's such a significant rise over such a large area. And yes, we're talking about one of the largest magma bodies ever detected on earth, a monster called the Altiplano Puna Magma Body, or shortcut APMP. So is this connected to our zombie volcano or what's going on? So the APMB, this magma field, stretches over 200 kilometers wide and it sits at a depth of 15 to 20 kilometers. So that's dangerously shallow for something this size. I mean, it sounds a lot, but if it's such a big magma body, 20 kilometers to reach the surface is nothing for that. So it's not fully molten, but it doesn't need to be. And I'll tell you why. Right now it's partially molten. It's highly, highly pressurized and it's filled with volatile gases, making it explosive. So this thing, guys, you have to understand this, is a geological ticking time bomb. And when scientists have scanned this, they have used seismic waves again and magnetotellurics. The data revealed something shocking, guys, really shocking. So the entire region is behaving like a pressurized balloon. 
and we know what happens to balloon if we pump too much air into them poof they burst and it's the same with magma chambers and our zombie volcano Uturunku, I'm getting better at this. Now I like saying it. Uturunku sits right on top of this balloon, on top of the weakest point of this balloon. And here's what makes this so terrifying, guys. So for decades, geologists thought Uturunku was extinct. No problem. Nothing going on there. Hadn't erupted for 250,000 years, there were no lava flows, no crater smoke, no earthquakes that would raise the alarms, no signs that this thing would do something. But now the whole mountain is inflating, the land is rising. Gas emissions, especially sulfur dioxide, are slowly increasing. And the deeper crust underneath, it's heating up. So in other words, that zombie volcano isn't dead. It's just been very, very quiet until now. And guys, I want to tell you something that you probably know already if you're watching my channel on a regular basis. If not, by the way, please subscribe and like this video. Volcanoes don't need to erupt to be dangerous. So when you've got tens of cubic kilometers of magma accumulating beneath the surface, pressure can rise silently until something gives. And that something could be an earthquake, a landslide, even a deep-seated fault rupture. And any of these could act basically as a cork popper, releasing pent up gas and triggering an eruption. And in the case of Uturunku, the size of the magma reservoir means any eruption, any eruption could be catastrophic, not just locally, and here it comes guys, globally. So the zombie could catch all of us. And again, if you watch my channel on a regular basis, you know Campi Flegre, the super volcano that sits in Naples with more than 6 million people. And that guy has done bad things in the past. The Campanian, Campania is the region there in Italy, the Campanian Ignimbrite eruption in Italy 39,000 years ago has covered much of Europe in ash and has dropped global temperatures. And that eruption came from a magma system, not unlike Bolivia's APMP. So now the question is, could this be a future super eruption in the making at the zombie volcano in Bolivia? Before I tell you what's happening in more details, because this is also mind blowing, I'll tell you about the Bolivian government, because the problem with this zombie volcano is, yeah, they're monitoring the area, but it's a very remote area and it's underfunded. So scientists are kind of like, ah, can we please do more monitoring? We need more sensors. We need satellite tracking. We need to understand the long term risks of this zombie volcano. And the situation that's happening there also is challenging traditional views of volcanic extinction on the, on the one side and also suggesting that other considered dead volcanoes might also be active beneath the surface and we are not even realizing it. Uturunko is a stratovolcano. It's located in the Sulipes province in Bolivia. It's 6,008 meters high, that's 19,711 feet above sea level. It's part of the Altiplano Punta volcanic complex, this massive, massive field, region known for its significant volcanic activity over millions of years with a history of large eruptions. 
The Altiplano Puna Magma Body is the largest magma body in the world. It's stretching over 200 kilometers wide at depth of 15 to 20 kilometers. Okay, this all sounds frightening, but before we panic, let's talk probability. Right now, there is no imminent eruption forecast, but this isn't about tomorrow, it's about the trajectory. Magma is rising, pressure is building, and the APMB is expanding. It's even getting bigger. So scientists are now raising the question, is this a slow recharging phase of the volcano? Or are these early signs of something much larger? So some models suggest this is a natural cycle of inflation and deflation. Other scientists think we're witnessing the reactivation of a super volcano system. Boof! There you go, guys. That sounds not good. A super volcano system, a once dead giant now shaking off its slumber, saying hi, guys. We don't need another one. <laughs> we already have to worry about Campi Fligri. But what makes this so groundbreaking is that it really, it redefines the definition of extinct volcano extinction in volcanology. Because really for decades, scientists have labeled volcanoes as extinct after 10,000 years of inactivity. But if Uturunku, is active again after 250,000 years. What other so-called extinct giants might be also just sleeping? That's the question. Which ones? There's lots of them. Yellowstone guys, for example. By the way, I have very interesting videos about Yellowstone new studies, what they found. It's very, very interesting. I have a playlist. Check out my channel page and watch these videos. But there's Toba, there's Taupo. So this is not just Bolivia's problem. It seems this is a global wake-up call. And not only that, this discovery also changes how we overall look at deep crustal magma bodies. Because most people imagine that volcanoes, they're vertical pipes filled with lava. But in reality, large systems like this APMB are horizontal, massive, spread out fields. Like you have to imagine this as massive underground lakes of molten rock, of magma. So they don't need a classic cone or crater to erupt. They just need a pressure breach. Pressure needs to be too high in one spot and magma always takes the way of least resistance. And if it finds some rocks that are more brittle. And by the way, guys, watch my last Campi Flegre video. This will blow your mind. <laughs> Blow is maybe, yeah, it's a word that matches this because they have found the weak spot of Campi Flegri, a spot where the rocks are so brittle that magma is getting in there at only a depth of 2.5 to 2.7 kilometers. So this is the weak spot. It's not strong there. So magma can find a way to the surface. You have to watch that video. So just a pressure breach for these huge, underground lava lakes and if they do erupt they could release thousands and thousands of cubic kilometers of ash gas and lava enough to collapse agriculture shift climates and trigger mass evacuations across continents we're not talking local we're talking continents so the Bolivian government has kind of like quietly acknowledged the need for monitoring. They're not making a big fuss out of this. But 
much of this region, as I just said, is so remote and so underfunded. So this is a big task that they have there. But what does that mean? That means the science needs to move fast because something's happening there. So they need ground-based sensors. They need more satellite tracking. They need seismic arrays before something changes dramatically because they thought this thing is extinct. They have done nothing there. Why would they? Why would they waste funds to put up expensive equipment in a remote region where it's so, so difficult to maintain it? Really, it has to be clear that this underground lava field, the, you know what, it's so difficult to say these letters, the APMB, it's just not a scientific curiosity. It's a live feet into the molten heart of the Andes. And it's whispering a warning to us. Don't assume the past is dead. That's what it's saying. Volcanoes do not follow our timelines. We know that, right? They often say, hold my beer. They rise, they sleep, they awaken on their own clocks. And Iceland is just experiencing this. After 800 years of dormancy, the Reykjanes Peninsula gets these eruptions every few weeks, like one or two months. It's a very real, and very hot, I have to say, very dangerous giant that's waking up beneath our feet, so to speak. And this time, we might be here to see this happening. So guys, I hope you liked this. If you did, uh, leave me a comment, leave me a like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Did you know about that? And I hope you're prepared wherever you live and you're safe wherever you live. And if you want to support the channel any further, check the links in the description. I have a buymeacoffee.com slash silky site link is in the description where you can buy me coffees to fill me up, to fuel me for more videos. And uh, right now I'm using this to support my farm animals. So thanks for everyone who's doing that. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you for your supers here on YouTube. And shout out to all my members, my basic level members, my silver level members of this channel. Thank you for your support and more videos are coming. I promise if you want to become a member, check out the join button. You're getting behind the scenes and private stuff from me. And silver level members, I just released a heads up for you on what's going on in, in Greece. Interesting stuff. So I hope to see all of you very, very soon here on this channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.